Hello, Victor. Uh, thanks for joining us in this uh, short interview. Let's get, uh, let's dive right into it. Um, has this year been the most strange year for you as a, as a hockey player? Yeah, I think yes. Uh, the COVID is a really strange period uh, for all the, the people and, uh, and for the, the hockey world too. And uh, I think yes is the, the, the stranger year in my life, in my hockey life. Yeah, I think for, for all of us, it has been a very, very strange year. But yeah, you're a professional athlete, professional hockey player. Uh, you have to prepare for, uh, for big tournaments. Uh, now it's, it's full, full preparation for the European Cup uh, this summer in Amsterdam. How have, how have you been uh, preparing for this tournament in these uh, strange times? We try to prepare this uh, European Cup uh, with the French hockey team, uh, but it's really hard because the COVID uh, is here and we try to, to, to be with the team all the week, but uh, sometimes it's impossible. So uh, we try to, to, to do a um, friendly game and, and training all the week. And uh, for the moment we can, because the French government uh, uh, is, uh, is, is cool for the moment. But uh, yes, we try to, to prepare this Open Cup uh, uh, at the best and uh, for the moment it's okay. Yeah, because I think you told me just, just prior to, this, to the interview that it was, it was uncertain until, until Friday, I think. Uh, we're Monday now, you are the, at a camp with the, with the team. It was uncertain until Friday that you could actually go to the camp, right? Yes, you, you, you can't have a, you can program your, your, your camp or your match uh, maybe two months before. Uh, but now you have to, to be reactive and to be ready uh, for go with the national team uh, maybe one or two days before. And, uh, and now we, we, can, we can do the, the friendly game and the, and the camp, so it's perfect. Okay, what are the games planned for this week? We play Canada and Belgium and maybe two training during this week. Okay, okay, exciting games. But let's let's look yeah. look forward towards the the, the championship European championship. Um, yeah, uh, we all know we're not going to talk too too much about that. You you lost to in a very very tight game to to Spain for the the qualifiers for Tokyo. Spain ended up being finalists on the on the latest European uh, championship. So you know where I'm where I'm heading with this. Um, what are your ambitions? Uh, can you actually be a pretendant for the European Cup? I think we are at the same level uh, with uh, with uh, Spain the the last year uh, for the Olympic game qualifier, and um, I think the goal for the team during this uh, European Cup is to finish in the top five, uh, because the top five is the the team uh, directly uh, qualified for the the next World Cup. So uh, the the main goal of the team is to is to finish in the top five. Okay, um, but I guess yeah. When you started the tournament, you're a professional athlete. The the goal is is the first goal is uh, the semis, right? Uh, that's the the thing you you can aim for. You're you're playing in Amsterdam, um, which will mean that yeah, the Dutch team is already very very hard to beat. They will be maybe even harder to beat. Do you think it's gonna be a battle with Germany for that second spot in the semifinals? I think no. The, during the Pro League, the Germany and Netherlands play two big games, and I think the, the two teams are very close. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you see uh, on the paper Germany or Netherlands, you you have to play at, at your best uh, uh, against these two teams. And I think we 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 try to win the. Uh, uh, against uh, both of the of this team for for the semi final, and uh, it's perfect to play Netherlands in the first game of, of the tournament uh, in Amsterdam. It, we we like that, and uh, I think it, it will be a big game for the for the for the first game of this tournament. It sure will be. Uh, really looking forward to that one. Um, maybe as as we 
yeah, we're, we're doing a, a lot of interviews with uh, with all the captains uh, in, in the coming days and weeks. Um, I would like I would like to ask you if you if you could help us out asking one one more question for one of the captains. Uh, you can actually choose because you're the first one we interview. So uh, from both men and women team, uh, who would you like to ask a question to? Uh, my question will be: uh, What do you think about the French hockey? Uh, because the uh, French hockey grew up, and uh, I want to know the the thug of the of the other captain uh, on our, on our country and uh, on our hockey. So, what do you think about the, the French hockey? And who you, who would you like to ask that to? Which captain? Uh, maybe Thomas Brils. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll make sure we ask uh, Thomas this uh, this question. Um, and then, are you ready for the the five um, quick questions to end this interview with? Always ready. Always. So you know you can only see you have two seconds uh, per end per uh, per question to answer it. Okay. And you can only answer uh, with one word. So don't okay. think too much about it. Okay. Yes. Ready? Ready. All right. The most skillful player of the French national team. Uh, Gaspar Morgan Baumgarten, pardon. Biggest favorite for gold medal at the European Championship. Belgium. You can transfer one player of the Netherlands team to be part of the French team. Who would that be? Kemperman. A dilemma. Qualifying for the Paris Olympic Games or being European champion? Uh, Olympic Games. How many drag flicks will you score at the European Championships? Five. Thank you very much, Victor, for this interview. Thanks to you.